long time no talk i feel like i have not vlogged in a minute but to start a little vlog today because i just feel like i have not sat down and talked to the camera in a minute i've actually started like a couple different vlogs and i just like felt like they didn't really go anywhere i would like forget to film or it just didn't feel very cohesive so i thought i would start a new one i know i feel like i do this all the time i just like get way in my head about filming and like my content and everything and I just end up deleting it and I'm not gonna do that this time I feel like I say that all the time but you guys probably don't even see it because I probably deleted it anyway <laughs> um I am off today it's Wednesday the 18th 19th it's the 18th <laughs> that was so much to think about um it's the 18th of September today I am off work today and I really haven't well, I've had like a kind of productive day. I set my alarm for 5.30 because I was planning on like getting up immediately going to the gym, whatever. Um, but I didn't wake up until like 6.20. I just kept snoozing my alarm and which is fine because honestly I was up until like midnight last night because I didn't get home from work until like nine, I think. I still went to the gym this morning. It just took me longer than I wanted to get there. Um, but I went at like 7 and I had a pretty good leg day and did some cardio, which is where I read my book, which I will talk about in a second. And then I came home and cleaned a little, made some breakfast, did my makeup, and I've been watching Gilmore Girls. Um, it's on the screen right here. Uh, that's pretty much all I've been doing. I feel like I've been getting into... A whole of just like watching Gilmore Girls when like before work or whatever and I want to do something I thought maybe I would just kind of like have a chill day where I would just let Gilmore Girls play and I would like do some crafty stuff that I've been wanting to do but honestly like you can't really see but like it's sunny outside it's so nice out it's like 86 and I was thinking like maybe I'll just go and like read at the park or something, go for a little drive, maybe like get a coffee or something just to get out of the house because my next day off is Sunday and it's supposed to be way cooler. Like it's supposed to be more like fall vibes. I feel like it's supposed to be like mid to like, it's supposed to be like mid seventies, which I feel like it's going to be so like fall vibes. It's supposed to rain. So I feel like that will be better for like my cozy at home day than today like I feel like today I should take this opportunity to like go outside and spend some time outside maybe go for a little walk do some reading so um I don't know why it was taking me so long I have read a little bit this morning but I mostly just read this morning on the treadmill I don't know why it is taking me so it took me a minute to like get into this book I don't know why I thought that was gonna be like hard to read but I'm now on chapter 12 on page 109 and I am loving this so far. I love all of the dual POVs and the multiple different characters that are like, I don't know, I just really like it how like they're interwoven, but like it's giving me like the Ellen Hildebrand um, couple of books that I've read by her. Um, it's giving me that vibe, but I'm really liking it and honestly it's making me really excited I think I am gonna watch the series on Hulu I think it only has one season if I'm not wrong I don't really know why like a standalone book would have more than one season but um yeah I really do want to watch it because I don't know I just think it's gonna be good and like I've been going on and like looking at the cast of the show and then like connecting them to like the names that I've of the characters that I've seen so far and I'm really, really intrigued. So, what it is, because it's not just this fall, it happens to me like every fall and I'm like, is it watching Gilmore Girls that's bringing it about? But I don't really think so. It's like something in my body, I cannot get enough coffee. I don't care about anything else, I cannot get enough coffee and I know it's not good to have that much coffee, but I've literally been having like three to four cups every morning because it's just so good like I'll have like usually I'll have like an ice cup first and then I'll have another ice cup 
and then I'll have a hot cup of coffee and then I'll probably like maybe have another hot cup of coffee like usually I'll just have like three but I'm like what's going on like I cannot get enough coffee lately it's really bad I need to be stopped so I went to the store this morning after my workout um, and I got some oat milk because I haven't been able, like I've kind of been wanting to make matcha. I haven't had a matcha latte in like a couple weeks and I've kind of been wanting to make one, but I haven't had oat milk. So I finally got some and I'm going to try and do that. And hopefully it will be a like semi okay alternative to like keep me from drinking so much coffee. There have literally been days where I like haven't had coffee until later in the day and I've like noticed that I feel a little bit better like I feel like I even have like maybe a little bit more energy and I'm like like I don't have that like midday slump and I'm like oh like I feel better without the coffee but I just I don't think I can do it like I just love coffee like I don't know I just love it it's like part of my personality at this point I feel like <laughs> I never moved from the spot but <coughs> I'm back in the same spot kind of miserable now um <laughs> I went well what did I do I went for a little drive I got a coffee I did some yard work when I came home and I listened to my audiobook uh before the coffee gets cold um which was I don't really know what I was expecting I'd like never really looked at what the book was about but it's really interesting. I feel like it would maybe be a little bit easier to understand if you were reading it physically. I'm just listening to it on audio because I don't own the book and I just wanted something to listen to like while I'm at work. I went to the park and I was reading my book and it was like just really like hot in the spot that I was at. My allergies, in case you couldn't tell because I sound stuffy now. <laughs> um, My allergies are really bothering me. I think it's just because I was like in the weeds and like cleaning up the yard I was outside and then like just being outside quite a bit today my allergies are just like <sighs> so I was just like constantly sneezing I was getting just like uncomfortable and I like couldn't focus on what I was reading so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go like sit in my car and read for a little bit like roll, you know maybe like roll down my window just at least like not I don't know like it was just it, I was just not comfortable so I read for a little bit in my car sometimes I just need to like be out of the house to read I don't know why like it just helps me focus better I guess um so I just sat in my car for a little bit and read my book I'm really enjoying it I'm like loving it um let me show you my update of like where I'm at in the book and everything um and then I just got home and I really need to take a shower because I was like so sweaty after doing yard work it's so hot outside so I just blow dried my hair to like you know make it not look disgusting but I need to take like an actual shower now. But I didn't want to do it while I knew that I was gonna like be going back outside. Um, I brought my journal and stuff, but I didn't end up doing that. So I'll probably do that now that I'm home. Um, but my book, I got to chapter 15, page 128. So I really didn't read too much, honestly, but I was just kind of like taking it slow. Getting to know the characters is really fun. 15 and like each chapter is from different perspectives obviously I feel like obviously you can kind of even tell from like this cover which I don't like this cover but <laughs> you can kind of tell from like even just this cover like who the main characters are but so far this character and this character have not had 
like a perspective and honestly they're not really talked about that much like he's been talked about a little bit but I feel like we haven't heard anything about this woman so I'm kind of interested to see what their story is like what the deal is if there's like a plot twist with those characters or something because I don't know I just think it's kind of weird um they've set him up to kind of be like a weird characters anyway um and I don't know I'm just getting weird vibes we obviously have like our main characters I feel like these two are like the main characters I feel like honestly Melissa McCarthy's character is the main character going on but I think it's gonna be good like I'm really enjoying the book so far I'm liking the characters I'm liking the story like I feel like it's pretty easy to follow and it's pretty easy to like get absorbed into the story and like want to keep reading it so I'm enjoying that um but yeah I need to take a shower and then I'm hopefully going to do some more reading I'll probably end up watching some Gilmore Girls working on my journal normal things that I do I I went outside I tried to be an active person in society today and now I'm exhausted and I just honestly I feel like a nap would be so nice right now I, I am freshly showered my hair looks crazy right now but I just got out of the shower I threw on my Jennifer's body jumper so cute I've already got like fully got the sweatpants on I'm like pajama ready like this is like cozy hour okay it's five o'clock responsibilities gone done with that anything that needed to be done today simply not happening anymore um I already cleaned I already did the things that needed to be done this morning so we're gonna chill now which means I'm going to turn on Gilmore Girls I'm going to get my book I'm going to journal and we're gonna make a fun little drink which is why you're here I should tell you backstory because I'm a rambler if you didn't know so um, I'm really sorry this lighting is so bad. I need this one to like not be here. <laughs> so Sunday, I, I have this problem with procrastinating things that I want to do. Like going, like I really want to go and like paint pottery at like one of those pottery places. But I feel like this weird social anxiety about like that in particular. I don't know why. Like certain things like I can go and do it even though I know I'm going to be socially anxious. But like. I'm sort of comfortable because I've been there before, but like things that I haven't done, I'm very like socially awkward about. Anyway, I just procrastinate things like that I want to do because I'm like, I got to wait for the perfect moment and the perfect moment never comes. So for like the past year, few years, like probably five years, I have not gone to like a pumpkin patch, apple orchard, any kind of like haunted tours anything like that and I've wanted to like I talk about it think about it and then when I go to actually look into it it's like mid late October and the moment has passed because I waited too long and like you just can't do that anymore so um just like fun things in general like painting pumpkins doing like those fun little crafty things that like I love to do and I would want to do but I'm like waiting for some moment to like I don't know like I just procrastinate for some dumb reason so we're not doing that this year but it's still really hot and I didn't want the moment to like pass and not have the opportunity because my husband and I have like different work schedules so I was like I don't know if there's gonna be like a good opportunity for us to go to an apple orchard so I was like let's just go this Sunday we'll just go early even though it's supposed to be like in the 80s we'll just go early and like it'll be fine um it was hot it was hot we probably went at like 10 or 11 um, but we got the stuff that we wanted. We went and like into the little shop there and we got apple cider donuts and uh, I think I got like some apple butter and some jam and stuff like that and then I got apple cider which I'm not a big apple cider person. I don't know why. I think I've had it like a, the couple of times that I've had it. I think I've had it with alcohol for some reason or I don't know like maybe I've only had it. I think I've at least had it twice with alcohol and I don't know. If that's why I've like never been a big fan so I don't have it that much but when I do now it like tastes alcoholic to me even though there's no alcohol I don't know anyway my husband likes it so I'm gonna let him mostly have it but I've been wanting to try with cream so I got this creamer today um, I like to do this creamer with pineapple juice if you guys have never done it before get some ice in your glass pour out some pineapple juice Put a little bit, you don't need very much in, or you can do as much as you like really, depending on how creamy you want it to be. 
do some creamer in with your pineapple juice. It's so good. It tastes like creamy, like kind of like a smoothie, but not, I don't know. It's delicious. Um, but I've been wanting to try it with other stuff like apple juice or like probably not orange juice. I feel like that would not be good. But anyway, I decided I'm going to try it with this apple cider. Um, yeah, so let's try it. Oh, should I do ice? Let's do ice just for the aesthetic. I'm not really like an ice girl. Like I don't need my drink to be that cold, but we're going to do it for the aesthetic because I think it'll look prettier if I do ice in it. I'm so excited to read my book. Like I'm so glad to have a book that I'm like really excited to actually sit down and go read right now. So, okay. Ice is acquired. Pour. Juice. I don't want to do too much. Yeah, that's probably good. Um, maybe a little more. Can't even see my glass. I'm so sorry. It's so tall up there. Let's put it like right there. Okay. Oh, I don't think I shook this. Shook the. Whoops. Okay. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to overdo it. Let's do a cute little colored straw. Oh, let's do green for like fall colors. Okay. It looks kind of cute. It looks kind of like orangey. Test. Oh. Wait, that's actually so good. Guys, wait, guys, that took the alcohol flavor out of it for me, and it tastes like it tastes like an apple dessert, like it tastes like creamy apple. It tastes so good, guys. Literally, give this a try. It's like, I think it's better than the apple juice would be because it has like that spicy flavor kind of. Mm-hmm. This, um, maybe the apple juice is not gonna be for my husband. Sorry. So, I ended up um, drinking that before I even got into my comfy spot. So I made my pineapple one too because it's just so good. This one's definitely more like summery, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I like the apple cider one because I feel like this is like a summery drink and I feel like the apple cider one is like a fall version of it. Anyway, we're getting back into our reading and I'm actually not going to turn on Gilmore Girls yet because I know I'll get distracted from my reading. So like sometimes I can read and watch a TV show but and like I'll just kind of like flip between like I'll just like watch and then I'll go back to reading and then you know but I really just want to focus on my book for a little bit so we're going to do that. I also um yeah and then I'll journal while I'm watching the show but Another reason that I'm really excited to watch this, I'm really excited to finish this book because I want to watch the show. Um, but another reason that I'm really excited to watch this is that when I was looking at the cast, I realized that Grace Van Patten, who is in Tell Me Lies, is in this show. Um, and like from what I've seen so far, she's like a pretty main character. And I like love her in Tell Me Lies. I've actually only watched the first season. And I was so excited for the second season to come out, but I didn't like rewatch the first season in time. And I still need to rewatch, like, I still haven't watched it because I've been in like a Gilmore Girls like tunnel vision. Um, but I still need to rewatch the first season to watch the second one because I just like I remember like the, the basic points, the basic premise, but I feel like I'll get confused by like. The characters and what's going on with them so i'm just gonna rewatch the first season because i love the first season anyway so let us more rewatch it so yeah but i'm very sad because i feel like i'm missing out and like everyone else is watching it and i'm like i just want to know what's going on but i haven't seen any spoilers so 
that's fine with me. <laughs> absolutely nothing for my energy levels right now and it's almost gone <laughs> update i didn't vlog it all yesterday because i worked like all day and then uh i came home and my husband and i literally fell into a hole of playing overcooked if you haven't played overcooked uh, i don't know it's like a it's on the ps5 i'm sure it's on like xbox and stuff too um it's like a cooking game and i think you can play it by yourself but you can also play it with like other people um you know, like, multiple characters, and you kind of have to, like, work together to, like, do the cooking. It's kind of hard to explain. It's, like, a cooking game, basically. Cooking, serving, you know. There's different things. You have to, like, chop things, fry things, make soup, basically, whatever. Um, it gives me the vibe of, like, Mario, kind of, like, with the map and stuff, but, like, also just, like, a cooking game, and, like, you know, it also kind of reminds me of uh, It Takes Two, which Mac and I also played like a year or so ago. Um, anyway, we were playing that game last night and we literally played it for hours. It was so fun. I love that game. Um, and we're going to play some more tonight. So I'm excited for that. But I, yeah, I worked all day and then I didn't end up really reading very much. I read a little bit before bed. And then today I went to work and I went to the gym after and I read this while I was on the treadmill. And I ended up finishing it. Um, I also don't, I still don't know what to rate this book. Like, cause it's difficult to explain. Like, I just, I don't know. My feelings are hard to like comprehend right now because basically this book is about nine different people who go to this Tranquilum house, which is like a re health resort retreat thing. And it's like a 10 day thing. And they like there's a bunch of different like rules and things they have to do but then it ends up being kind of like sketchy but like by the end of it I was like waiting for something to happen nothing happened like genuinely feel like nothing happened in this book like I feel like we were just waiting and waiting for something to happen or like there to be like some like plot twist no D like at least in my opinion no like it was just it, it was dead like the, the plot could have been good but it no the ending was so bad um all of a sudden it was like we like the last part like all of a sudden it was like it was being narrated like you had like you had like a narrator but like the whole rest of the book was not like that so it felt very like what what is happening there was no like funky plot twist really it was just weird like so the thing is like I enjoyed it when I was reading it, like, I was enjoying, like, the characters and stuff. Like, I just wish that it got somewhere. Like, I wish that there ended up being, like, a plot twist or, like, a meaning to something. Like, I think I even mentioned that, like, I thought that maybe two of the characters were, like, sketchy. No, like, genuinely, like, nothing was happening. Like, it was so weird. Like, I, like, literally, like, every scene, like, even, like, the more, like, <gasps> scenes, I was, like, wait, like, is that gonna lead somewhere? No, it didn't lead anywhere. So, honestly, I would probably give this book, like, a two stars. Like, I think that it ruined it that much for me. Like, otherwise, I probably, it probably would have sat at, like, a three star for me. Just because I didn't love it. But I didn't, like, like, I enjoyed reading it for the most part. But the ending just killed it for me. Like, it just absolutely, it was not it. So, I'm done with that book. Um, and then yesterday, I started The Story Life of AJ Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. I actually started the audiobook, but I found my spot for where I was when I stopped listening yesterday. I was listening to it while I was at work, so I couldn't, like, physically read. But I was like, I might as well try and get some of my physical TBR done while I'm at work. So I found the audiobook, and I was listening to this. Um, I don't know. I might 
end up kind of reading it or I might just listen to the audiobook. I think it'll be easier because that's the only audiobook that I could find from my t physical TBR so I think that I'll just probably end up listening to it at work and not reading the physical copy but I am enjoying it so far. I didn't really like know the plot of the book I guess. I really only knew that he is an older guy. He's kind of like I really didn't even know that much about like his character. I just knew that he owned a bookstore and that he got robbed. That's all I really knew. Um, so going into it, I was like, I don't really know what the rest of the story is going to be. I was basically going based off of like book reviewers and like other people's thoughts and opinions and reviews that I've heard. Um, but I hadn't heard any like spoilers about it. So I was just kind of going into it blind, but with like kind of high expectations. So I'm enjoying it, but I'm also not very far. I'm on page 68. Now I have to pick my next book to read and I I want to read all of these this month obviously but I just don't know which one to read right now. to understand right now um I just started reading again I haven't read very much um it's like almost my bedtime now so a little bit but I'm only on chapter 10 I'm on page 69 which I feel like isn't too bad honestly for a classic I feel like I'm getting through it pretty quickly um there's been like a couple parts that I kind of have to like slow down and like focus on it's just different from what I'm used to but it's not like so written like in a classical fashion where like it's difficult to understand so just a little bit harder to understand than like you know modern books books written now newer releases whatever but yeah I'm enjoying it actually I'm kind of excited to um watch the movie too and see like how it compares and stuff and like the interpretations of it um but yeah it's also just like I feel like so interesting to read classics and like I was thinking about this earlier but like in the start of this book they like are at an opera and then like later in the same day they're going to a ball so I'm like it's just so crazy to like think about how different everything was back then like there was no social media there was no like internet there was no any of this just like in general like there was no tv like everything was like so social I'm like what was it where like p introverts people just like so tired all the time of like being around people or like were people just more social were they less like anxious you know because like now we have like all these different ways to see how we're being perceived without like just going off of like you know straight up interactions and like what we get based off of like you know gossip or whatever like it's really just like more like straightforward I feel like back then so and like I feel like everyone's just so sociable and so like active all the time it's just so crazy to see like how different it is and I don't know I'm feeling like I'm getting a lot of perspective and I like it guys I need someone to motivate me to get ready for the gym it's currently like seven o'clock at night and Mac is on his way home from work and he was like hey you want to go to the gym with me and if someone asks me to go to the gym, like, I just quite literally can't say no. I will get FOMO or I'll feel bad. And I was already meant to go to the gym. Like, I meant to go to the gym earlier today. But then my friend wanted me to go grocery shopping with her. And I also couldn't pass that up. So I was like, yeah, no. I got off work a little bit early. We went grocery shopping. Anything that we do is, like, 
a half a day excursion. So we went grocery shopping, that took forever. And then I came home and I was exhausted. I put all my groceries away. I had a snack and I took a little nap. I watched a little bit of Tell Me Lies. I decided to start it over today. Um, I think I mentioned that I wanted to rewatch it. I also did some editing. I like started to edit this vlog. Um, so I've been a little bit productive, but I just, <sighs> I feel like I've been, I don't know. I'm like kind of in the mood to work out, but I'm also kind of like, I just don't want to like beat my little spot here. <laughs> um, but I'm on episode two now. I forgot how much, I didn't forget how much I love the show, but I forgot like parts of it. And I'm like delving back into it now. I'm like remembering little parts and I'm so excited. I'm so glad I decided to rewatch season one. But anyway, I had a little book update. I'm reading, um, I'm currently on page 103 now. Um, honestly, I feel like I'm reading this pretty quickly. I think I just started it yesterday. Yeah, I, I started it yesterday. Um, and I feel like I'm getting through it pretty quickly. Um, I did listen to more of AJ Fickery today too. I have like an hour of the audiobook left. It's a very short book, so I'm not surprised but I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving the book. I think it's like a little bit of like a slow cozy read. Like it's nothing that like I think is going to be, I don't think it's gonna be my favorite book ever, but I do like some of the quotes and I just, I do like the storyline and I like the characters. So I'm gonna go to the gym. Hopefully I'm able to read a little bit more of this later because I kind of just want to finish it. I feel like I'm on a roll of like reading it pretty quickly. So I'm hoping I can keep up with that. to you guys but it's really just bad or good for me because I have to read books but 
Um, I finished not one, but two of the books I was reading last night and then this morning. So you guys saw I finished this book this morning. I gave it four stars. I'm sticking with that rating. Um, I'm very happy that I read this book. I think it was really cozy. It was really cute. Uh, the characters were just so... I feel like with the kind of minimal knowledge that you have reading a short story like this, um, it felt like the characters were very likable and like you really like knew them in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really enjoyed this book. It was a lot more like cute and deep. It was a lot more to the story than I thought, I guess, from the, from like what I had heard about it. So I'm really glad that I read this one. I actually really, really enjoyed this book. I don't remember what I rated it, but I think that honestly this would be a 3.5 to 4 star for me. Um, just because a lot of parts kind of left me like confused, like just a lot of like the social conversations and stuff. I was kind of like, okay, whatever. But the actual like premise of Archer and the kind of love triangle I guess that we kind of experience is was very interesting I feel like it was really easy kind of to understand what was going on and I really loved some of the quotes that I read um and yeah I just really liked this book um I think it was really good I think that a lot of the points were very interesting there were some parts that left me like very frustrated but also I think that it's cool to like understand it in a different time period like how different things were back then in general like divorce was not a like socially acceptable thing then and like there was just a lot more like social stigmas and judgments and gossip about things than there is now like obviously there is now too but like I don't know it's just very different obviously conservative I guess back in the day so yeah, I did, but I really enjoyed the story. Anyway, I'm just going off on a whole tangent now. But I like this book. I would give it probably like a 3.5 to 4 star. I don't know if I have like a solid rating yet. But yeah, I really did enjoy this book. So then we, I actually started Heart and Soul by Jen Frederick this morning. And I am really enjoying it so far. It's super witty. It's super um, interesting, I guess. And I like that it's keeping with a good pace I feel like we got a little bit of like a slight ever so slight bit of like the character's feelings and like the storyline of kind of what's like going going on with her and what her relationship with her family is like and then but Lee you're not like waiting forever to jump into the main plot of the story like she's already gone to Seoul so I'm enjoying I'm only on chapter seven I'm only on chapter seven page 50 so I didn't get too far, but I'm really enjoying this writing because honestly, I thought it was like, I was like, I'm either going to really love this or it's going to be like very hit or miss for me because I feel like my biggest problem with romances, especially like, I I don't know why I was feeling like this might be a little bit more YA. Now I'm feeling like maybe it's new adult, um, but I feel like this writing is a lot more mature and like witty writing than I thought it was going to be like I thought that it might have more of like just kind of like an immature air I don't know I feel like if you get it you get it with like romance writing like sometimes they can just be a little bit like cringy and I kind of thought it might be like that or it could be good and right now it is definitely leaning towards good I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying our main character Hara the overall premise and the plot is really interesting and I actually don't really know like what all is going to happen in this book. I don't know if it's really a romance, honestly. Like, I'm right now, it's seeming like it's leaning towards romance, but I don't think that that's all obviously that's going to focus on. I think that it's going to deal a lot like family and your like self, your relationship with yourself. And I am really liking it. So that's going well. Um, other than that, I could hardly wake up this morning. I have been like so tired this morning I feel fine now I had two cups of coffee and I just had a little breakfast and then it's like almost one o'clock now I think I have to go to work at 1 30 so I don't really have a lot of time to like do anything else I've just been watching Gilmore Girls this morning that's what I'm doing right now I'm on season three so we're in our Rory Jess era and yeah other than that the only other oh the bad bookish news I forgot to mention that was that 
I realized that I still have two more books, not one more book after this one, because I forgot that I had Emily Wilde on my TBR for this month because it wasn't with my other TBR books. I had left it in my bag that like I took to the park with me and I forgot that it was in there. So I never, I was like miscounting. Like I, I totally forgot that that book was on my TBR. So I actually have three books, um, this one and then The Ghost Writer and Emily, Emily, why do I keep saying it right? Emily Wilde, I keep, um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog now since I, you know, you probably don't want to watch two hours of me reading and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!